Touch okay. interface is terrible, by the way. Yeah, of course. Dungeons of Deaths. All right. This is a risk game. No way. It says it's Dungeon of Death, but it claims to be Dungeon of Deaths. What is it? It's Dungeon of Death. It's Dungeon wow. Of death. Just one. Just the one death. Loading images. Mm-hmm. Failed to load images. If it's loading more images like this, I'd say don't bother. Get ye flask. Uh, six dungeon levels. Oh, hey, let's buy some food. Let's buy... No- well, actually, we have a ton of food. Um, Extreme heal potions. We need mm-hmm. one of those. Enter item number to buy. Yes, three. No, you can only... Okay, oh. uh, now we buy a regular heal potion. Mm-hmm. Okay, now we're done. Okay. Now let's let's treat this this uh, adventure with the oh. Is this a roguelike? <gasps> oh no! Oh god! No. It's fighting me over and over again. No shit! A ow. fight! Ow. Shit. Attack! Ow! But okay, you're attacking with the crossbow. Should have gotten bolts. Oh god! Oh. No, you have to actually target like where on the screen the bolt should go. So yeah, then like in the middle. You need to active reload. Nice. Yeah, you shot it. Yeah, its its attack seems to be slowing down. This this dungeon is already full of death, right here. You missed the monster. I've been I've been hit by this cobra so many times. Ah oh, shit! And it turned into a puddle of goo. Hey, there's a chest over there. I prefer Go open dungeons it. of the unforgiven. Oh, there's a scroll. Oh, you are hurt. <laughs> open it. what? <laughs> oh, pick up pick up that. Oh, ah! What? Oh god! Oh no, it's a. Dog, I think? Center. Yeah. Oh, okay. Great. Yeah. There's stuff to get. Yeah, eat, eat, eat that apple. This this looks playable. Let's... The, yeah, the, the quick button. Oh, God. Okay. Well, you use one of your two potions. Wait, we're, lo- we're counting you're sleeping your minutes? Food. You're losing your food. I don't know how to stop that. Shit. Well, I guess you're going to starve to death after an hour. Look at that. Your health is ticking down. I can't make it stop, so don't hit us ever again. No! Well, so we slept for two hours and almost starved to death. Uh-huh, that's right. This is pretty good so far. G, forget. No! Oh, fuck. oh they're not oranges, they're money. Okay. Oh, okay, good. Got some food on the dead monster. Yeah, let's, let's go get... forward and open this other chest. That's right. Ow, I hurt myself on this chest. Oh man, look at our look at our little paper doll band up there. We that's are totally right. covered in cups. Yeah, that's right. It's that we got from sleeping. This, this is straight out of Dragon Age here. <laughs> Just the fact that you're covered in in like blood. Okay, that helped uh, none at all. And now I have hepatitis. Oh, we started this game with hepatitis. That's fine. You're I'm looking for a cure for key. hepatitis, like in Far Cry Two. That was... Okay. What? The dragon just walked through you. The dragon okay. is friendly. The snake is not. I'm out of arrows. Um, oh, no. Oh, God. It's chasing me. Ah, oh, fuck. There's a guy. Every, everything in this... Uh, where's the edge uh, no. of this horrible dungeon? No. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. no. It's a fucking guy with no. claws. Go away. Lobster no. Dr. Zoidberg is coming no. for you. Oh, shit. No. Uh, okay. <laughs> no, it's the ghost. <laughs> So wait, is this, I think we're just going in circles. So is this a dungeon crawler or a survival horror game? The dungeon is full of deaths. Okay, we got eight. The arrows. best dungeon crawlers are survival horror games. Oh, we got a we got a potion. Shoot this ghost. That's right. You're out of food. <laughs> oh no. I did, I was just looking for a princess to save or a big pile of gold coins. It's like a gray alien ghost or something. I'm trying to hit it, but it's moving too fast. Oh, we yeah, hit we hit him. No, you can't aim low. He doesn't have a butt. He's a ghost. The ghosts don't have butts in this universe. That's right. Yay! His ghosts are butt-free. It's like royalty-free, but with butts. Uh, Fuck. <gasps> yes! Yeah! Alright. He was a blood ghost. So fucking dead. Alright. No! Go hey. away. Oh. oh there's an so I just keep picking up... Oh, hello. Uh, okay. Open the door. We have a key. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Let's go further into the dungeon. Climb down to the next level. Oh shit! That, there's a vending machine. Attack the vending machine. That's right. I can. Welcome to the circus oh, of values. 
We want Come back when you got some money, buddy. Yes, let's quit this game. That well, that was good. competent. Yeah. And then we died in a dungeon, never to return. How much? How much does this cost? Seven dollars. Wow. That's a steal. Well, compared to seeing other people who are like, you need to give me sixty dollars for my risk clone. Mm-hmm. That's right. You you can have this game for free, but I encourage you to send me a donation, and in return, I will give you for free additional content. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Exactly. Electro Man. I hope this isn't like Electro Body. In other words, unplayable. Mm-hmm. Fuck. <laughs> uh, we're just Robocop. Episode one. Oh. What are the instructions? Yeah. And x -Land. Before Duke Nukem, there was Electro Man. That's right. Actually, I would not be surprised if Electro Man came out around the same time as the original Duke Nukem. Alt X to quit. Electro Remember Man that. is uh, Duke Nukem's dad. Well, okay, he's the new RoboCop, but he's not the original RoboCop. Mm-hmm. There's one beef here on, like, Trog Tour. All right. Yeah! Oh, yeah. I love this song. Oh, it's been so long. We have to be careful. This is an emergency area. So I you had said press spacebar to... Oh, because I need to get capsules first. Yeah. Whoa. Okay, so it's not a scrolling platformer. It's a side-shifting platformer. Oh, look at That's that. That's like Mega Man, you have to go through rooms. Look at, look at that tiny... Oh, oh god! Oh, shit! Okay, so don't go through when it. When the doors are red, you are dead. I, I love the character design of Electro Man here. They said, how will we give a dude <laughs> oh, god. wearing a Robocop helmet, a big beefy arm, and sweatpants? Yeah. Like, that. that is the action hero for the new generation. Mm-hmm. You can't go through that, though. Oh, never mind. Apparently the little mouser robots can, though. Mm. No! Yeah, they're totally mousers. <gasps> Shit! Ah, okay. but we're not dead just yet. This is a secret hidden area. <laughs> ah! <fuck. laughs> that was pretty great. Not gonna lie. Yeah, just okay. hold on here. Oh, yeah! Man. Oh, look at this non-linear... Um, oh, on. wow. Oh, no, okay. Okay. Whatever, that's dumb. Let's, yeah, let's go to the left. Maybe there's bullets back here. Shit! No, there are not. Oh, fuck. Okay. So wait, do we, do we have to find bullets? Why can't we use our gun that they gave us? I think they were out of bullets. And it's right. Oh, yes, it's, that's right. I forgot we're, we're going with old the old style of video game design, which was fuck the player. Mm-hmm. No, it has to be realistic. Yeah, it's like Resident Evil. Yeah, you found this gun, but there's no bullets in it. What? Oh, but I wanted to use those twin Lugers. Nope, sorry. Okay. So far, Electro Man is not... We have to be careful. This is an emergency area. If I had a gun... He's not the power fantasy that, that modern gamers really expect. I think modern gamers at least expect, you know... <laughs> bullets in the gun. Yeah. You have to earn those. Yeah, you have to... You have to learn how to evade the monster, and then they give you the bullets with which you kill the monster. It's like, uh... No, you see, like, this is how you learn that, uh, that monsters hurt to be hit by. Shit! Yeah. Ah. Oh, fuck. We have to be careful. This is I seem to have infinite lives, at least, so we can fuck up forever. Yeah. That, that sounds like a good, uh, a good descriptor of this game. That's right. Fucking up forever. Fuck up forever, the game. Yeah, uh, I'll allow it. Alright. Well, from what I remember, Electro Body was just a single room that we couldn't even figure out how to get out of, so I consider this a win. Mm-hmm. Whee! Yeah! Parkour. Do I take a blind jump here? Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, you do, but you totally flubbed it, so... So now I go down there and accept my death? Yep. There's no way you'll be able to get past that. You have no offensive capabilities whatsoever. I have... I have you cussing. May ha you may have an electric body. Wait, there's a teleporter back over here. If I can just make it to that, then I'll be okay. No. Should go all the way back and right into that when it's red. And then they hit quit. This game is terrible, and whoever made it, I hope they feel terrible. That's right. So epic mega games. You bastard, that was that was Cliff Wazinski that you just insulted. I'm okay with that. Epic Pinball version 2. Aw, oh, yeah. Also made by Cliff Wazinski. Mm-hmm. Aw, oh, come on. Uh, I was totally right. Great. Actually, maybe this one was made by Cliff Porzinski and that other one was made by Tim Sweeney. It's some pretty good general mini. Let's read this. I want to see who made this.
Whoa. Oh, no. Wait, it's just a... Join the epic team. I would love to. Looking for a few good programmers and artists who have the talent and the inspiration to create the next generation of computer games. Well, we should have... It's too bad we got to this now, because we totally could have gotten on that Epic Games and made ourselves some, some sweet, sweet Gears of War money. That's right. I've been waiting to, um, to code games and see. I'll say, I love, I love the idea of a video game actually coming with the thing about how to apply to the team, because you wouldn't see that in this day and age. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, here, here's how you apply for video games in this day and age. Make one yourself. Yeah. All right. No, not three players. It's only one. No, not four, not five. Okay, one. It's probably going to be Android Body. Uh, you're an Android Body. Electro Body, the game. Oh, this is the Rise of the Robots game. Boy, I hope I think right left the shift, right shift, in and here. space. Space Cadet Pit. Super Android. With Shit, art by Rob Liefeld. Give the android life. So this is basically Pinbot. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Well, this is definitely running better than I think the other... Like, this other game is also elsewhere in the shareware collection, so way to give me 250 of these, you assholes. Mm -hmm. Go. Go. This is pretty good. You know what? It's going to be interesting to look at the tape at the end of this and see, like whether there were actually 250 unique playable games in this collection, or between duplicates and broken machines, mm -hmm. if it actually failed to deliver on that expectation. Yeah, oh, sure it did. Well, I mean, it failed in a lot of ways, but d did it actually lie is what I'm curious about. Uh, my vote is yes. I know that there's 264 games listed, but that one of them is not actually on the CD in any way. Mm -hmm. And then one of the ones that is on the list is straight up a duplicate, where Floatress appears back to back with oh. itself. Oh. But one of the floatresses is technically in the new games category, so I think it was supposed to be in this menu, not that one. Uh -huh. Much like how, again, we have two copies of Android Pinball and Electro Body. That's a pretty good pinball game. I would consider buying it off God. Off God. G-O-D. Gog. Who runs Gog again? Um, Blaster Project. Master. Okay, that's fine. Just when you thought it was over! Eleven more worlds of pinball away. I never really thought of pinball tables as worlds. Wow, I'm gonna hit the button. Super now. Android pot of gold. Uh, I'm gonna get the humble pinball bundle later. It's actually just all the tables for this game. <laughs> That's right. Well, one of the tables is Toy Factory. I've always wanted to work at the Toy Factory. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's a pretty pronunciation. Good... Oh, it's euchre. Oh, is that a card game? Yes, it's a card game. Right. Tell us about the euchre. Uh, it's big in the Midwest. Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute, I think we've played this one. <laughs> yeah, we have. I love the smudgy MS Paint in the pick it up. the top. Okay, pick up the card. Well, fuck you, buddy. Pick it J -J -A -K -K. up. I don't even know how to do that. No, yeah, we've totally seen this oh, one. No, but no, 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 we saw Alien guys. Euchre that had, like, weird people. No, we saw this one with all the Bud Light yeah, and we the saw this, Blue. this exact uh, interface. With all these really ugly-looking people. Evolve. Mm-hmm. Face, face I'm I'm looking forward to face tricks, but let's let's evolve and overcome. No, this shit, this fucking game. Wait, did we have this one already? Yeah, we totally did see this one. This is a a, a technical tour de force of 3D Studio Max from. Mm -hmm. You remember the sky right here? Hi there, Uzi has emerged from the digital swamps. That's right. To see what sort of frightening creatures you have evolved. Mm-hmm. Well, it's an So wait, this is just like a really shitty sim life? Well, this game has production values compared to the other, one, the other ones in this. Okay. Even so. And you run the sim, and then you press fast forward. Oh. Hey, buddy. What's this guy up to? Oh, I think he just shows up whenever you pause. He's an adorable mascot. Classy. I think actually I knew a guy who coded a game like this at one point. Oh, wow. I'm pretty sure that I remember several variants of that game on the internet, but with zombies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, my favorite zombie simulator was the one where people could turn into superheroes. <laughs> Face tracks. All, All right. right. Oh, oh, the... ah. oh, God damn it. Okay, so let's see what they actually did in this. You know, we've Presence. seen a ton of games from these people, and all I can assume is that 
they found some sort of like how to how to make games like guidebook and then just tried to market all of all of the various things in that game. This is fucking guess who. Actually, I, uh, I have some information for you. Uh, Solo Software, literally one guy. Wow. Oh, so yeah. He, so he is he is totally just taking how to code video games at his local community college and showing us all of the projects and trying uh-huh. to sell them. Mm-hmm. Uh, interesting fun fact number two. Uh, still has a website that is functional. Whoa. That's great. Does it look like it was made in 1995? Place? Absolutely. I will say that the dude who was just recently placed looks like the you cannot cut back on funding, you will regret this guy. Yeah. You're right. I'm gonna push the thing up. Play well, if I, this is a perfectly If I push game. her if I push this one up, it's gonna go right past that block. Well, let's see. Oh yeah, you're totally so, right. Shit. I don't want <sighs> you cannot cut back on shareware. You will regret this. Except it's except it costs twelve dollars. Yeah, no. Billy Solo is a one-man wrecking machine. Fintress. <laughs> so is this Tetris with fins? That's right. Oh, we want we want English. What the hell is Sumoi? I've never heard of. That Apparently, it's Finnish. Oh, okay. Oh, I've never been to Finland, so. Oh, Software I see. Where illusions. Oh, it's a Tetris clone. Fintress. It's a Finnish Tetris. By okay. Tommy Tarkianian. I'd be okay with this as long as it has Finnish folk themes in the background. Oh wow! The I don't know what I'm. Am for... I selecting what pieces I want to have in the game? Oh wait a minute! No, it's it's totally like, hey, we're totally better than Tetris because we have five block pieces. I don't. I can't tell which of these interface things means selected and which means deselected. I imagine the ba- like making them uh, outlined is selected versus. Oh, like, so this is selected, this is deselected? Yeah. I think this might actually use the um, numeric keypad. Attention games. A TT game. Uh, I think he just quit. Yep. Yeah, we're, that's, uh, I'm totally fine with that. Are you sure? Um, yeah, I'm fine. If you say so. I was looking forward to seeing a new twist on Tetris. Hammer. Everybody's just been leaving that game alone. Silver Lightning Software. And he took a ride on a silver bolt of lightning to a star hammer. Please enter your surname, <laughs> Bucks. I like how the S is just off kilter, like uh, not oh. correctly with the rest of the. Yes, I like how the the S has been cut off there. Mm-hmm. Welcome to the Prying Eyes campaign. Blah 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 blah. Who thought that was a good idea? Holy Whoa. shit! Whoa, Jesus, we're, we're going fast. All right, so. Oh no, not that noise again. What, so what, what noise? Show me. <sighs> My life is leaving me. Yeah, let's fly to this little white dot or is that our targeting reticle? Well, there's a number at the bottom of the screen that's going down when I head in this direction, it's so probably mm-hmm. our fuel. Oh no! No, it's, just, it's totally just a target. Okay. Oh, okay. Now I have to go up. Do we, the is there anything target. in here, or do we just go up there? Just then? go to the other one. But that's and that's the game. Just do what the game tells you, and then eventually. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, wait, F one for help. Enemy vessels. Enemy enemy vessels. There's nuclear vessels. Oh shit! Oh wow! Jesus! Oh no, they're totally crippling our shields. Uh, so and our ears. Sometimes I think it would have been. It would have been amazing if the um, if the Cold War had escalated in, in such a direction that um, that the U.S. and Russia would engage in space battles in orbit. Okay, enough game. Thank you. I, I think there's an enemy ship on my butt. I don't care though. Oh, uh, escape to quit. So I just do this patrol over and over again until the game ends. Star Patrol. It's like even the game knew that we were. That mission any more was fun. a failure. Well, you didn't. Boo, boo on you, Star Hammer. I don't like your mission. I don't want to fight space communists. 
I also don't like your time. Oh, actually, go on. I do it now. pretty good. The game is amazing. Three megabytes in size. Okay. Heart, Heart light. Oh. Oh, hey. <sighs> More Cliffy B. Ah. Uh, I need to stop mashing enter on that logo. Good job. Chaos. Oh yeah, this music is pretty rocking. What? That's and you the play game. as a little elf, and you're collecting the magic sprinkles while you, um... Oh, oh I see how it is. You all the oh, house. this is just... Oh, oh that yeah, game? this is Boulder Dash. Yeah, this is Boulder Dash. Alright. Well, how do I get through this? You go up, and then... Go up, and then book it to the right real fast. Oh, they <gasps> fall over? Yeah, they fall over. So the thing is, you don't have gravity, but all the weird crap does. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gotcha! Yeah. And you explode it into flames. Well, everyone knows gnomes or elves or whatever this dude is are highly flammable. I've lost it, aren't I? No. Go go underneath, and then go up into the right real fast. And then you've okay, yeah, you've totally yeah, you lost it. Yeah, you've yourself. No, no, you just... Ah! Oh, because you're a lemon? Yeah, that's right. Ah! Oh no! Ah! I don't want to live! I don't seem to have... You don't seem to have lives. Yeah, it's a puzzle game. Um, lives are lives. not necessarily punishing. Lives are immaterial. Yeah, that's right. Sisyphus, the game. No, that's the shower collection in general. <laughs> oh, there are another hundred or so new additions. Okay. Hexagon, gone, gone. So there was a game that we were playing earlier where... Wait, Software Creations, didn't they make... They, they made a game that we saw earlier in this collection, for sure. Yeah, I forget what, what it is, though. But someone had made an offhand comment about how they would play this, like, hexagonal-based uh, um, board overtaking game if the graphics were better, so here you go. Oh, okay. This is totally just super... Well, okay, this isn't super hexagon, but... Mm -hmm. Like, this game actually isn't bad. No, this is exactly like super hexagon. Including the bombastic soundtrack. Wow, this so computer this... is not very good. No, what happened is I is I set the AI wrong. I need to fix that. Okay, yeah. there we go. Actually, this game is fine. I've played like a bazillion Flash versions of this game, and it's actually pretty yeah. fun. No, the thing the thing with with the way AI is determined on these old games is that it's literally the number of cycles that it has to make a move. Oh, uh, okay. So the so that's you know how many moves ahead it's thinking basically. Mm -hmm. um, that's why there was that one uh, there was that one adventure game that mm -hmm. is literally impossible to play now because like you have to play a game of chess against the AI and on a modern PC it can plan the entire game ahead of time. Oh, I see. I think it was like Phantasmagoria or something. I think it might have been the seventh guest. Hmm. Ah, <gasps> shit! Oh no! Whee! So the rules are pretty simple. When you go one space ahead, you clone. When you go two spaces ahead, you jump. When your piece is adjacent to an enemy's piece, well, this happens. Damn! Look at that. Yeah, no, I've even played variants of this on, like, uh, those, like, little kiosks and bars that have a bunch of games on them. Yeah, this game is fine. It's, this game is totally competent. I This is one of the games that I actually play a lot of on the Shareware Collection as a kid. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, because it's actually, like, it's a real game. And I, I've also, I'm fairly certain I've actually seen these graphics as well, just like in Flash versions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, the balls versus gems yeah, thing? Yeah, the balls versus gems thing. Uh, this is a demo idea. I'm gonna stick to my guns here. Sorry. Just clone everything. I could keep playing this. Uh-huh. I, I have to I'm, I'm mesmerized just by the, the animations. Right. Yeah, do it. No, it's a terrible idea. It opens up this entire thing. Down here, though. Again, taking advantage of shitty AI and not planning enough moves ahead. Mm -hmm. Oh, snap. You basically yeah. don't want to jump whenever possible. Mm -hmm. 
So there's there's three ways to win. Either have the most pieces on the board when the board fills, uh, take out all of the opponent's pieces, or take out enough of the pieces that they have no way out. Like, you basically create a two, a two deep barrier of your pieces around theirs and you win. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, sure. It's too dumb to figure that out. Oh, wow. See, so now those pieces in the corner have no way out. Mm-hmm. Oh, what do you think about that computer? Hmm, this com the computer is indifferent. So you may be wondering, with a game like this, what does the full version get you? Could I perhaps interest you in other uh, types of pieces for your player to be, even though they all do the same thing? <laughs> Could I interest you in more variants on the map where different holes are cut out? Nah. Oh, well, so much for the shareware model then. Yeah. Like, how do you build a, a limited shareware version of this? Oh, you can only play 10 You can only moves. play 10, yeah. Really? Five minutes. That's right. Only against hard AI, if you've got the patience. Yeah, you always, you always could sell, like, you know, really dumb things, like extra pieces. Oh, just, like, uh, consumable DLC? Like yeah, fucking like, Bioware like, games. Like horse armor. No, no, horse armor isn't consumable. I'm talking about like, uh, what's that fucking game? Oh, all of them. Oh. <laughs> oh no. I'll see if he's dumb enough to try controlling that uh little hole he's carved out for himself. Yep. All right, so. Whoa. And that does it. Mm-hmm. Ban this sick filth. Amazing. You win! Yeah! Oh no, its head exploded! Needlessly brutal. Needless brutality. That's my favorite kind of brutality. So yeah, Hexagon is a perfectly serviceable game and honestly pretty fun. Yeah, it's only $22. No. And you get Hexagon too. Over a meg of stuff. That's a lot of stuff. Oh yeah, you totally can turn into like weird little gross things. A gold lined marble board with completely different An all new AI. Unbeatable AI. Unbeatable software creations. So who came up with this game originally? Was it these people? Because that'd be that'd be uh, actually kind of weird. You know, I think that the other one might have been by a company called Argo Games. I'll hmm. have to check the tape.